Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I'm your guide, Justin Arezio, and today we're gonna look at how you can take a Google Sheet and import it into a smart sheet so all the data is already there. Let's jump right into it. All right, we're gonna look at how to take a Google Sheet and import it into your smart sheet. This is extremely helpful, especially when your company uses multiple different platforms. And guys, if you haven't yet already, please subscribe to this channel, but most importantly, please click on the free lesson I have created for you guys. It's 45 minutes of just pure smart sheet information of basic things that people ask me about more than anything else. That free course is in the bio below in this video. And when you click on that lesson, you just log in and I'll, I have a free lesson that I made for you guys, absolutely free. All right, let's dive into importing your Google Sheets into Smartsheet. And over here, I have my sample Google Sheet that I've made and it's very, very basic as you can tell. I got my budget minus my actual gives us our difference. And just for kicks, I wrote in the word formulas just so you know that right here are actual formulas and right here is just raw data just so you can see how the formulas transfer over and I also did some different colors here um, some different fonts just so you can see what carries over and what does not and just like Excel um, Google Sheets does not allow you to change the names of the columns they are always just going to be a B C D you can actually put the word budget the word actual the word projects you can't put that in here and so we'll see how Smartsheet fixes that for us. So let's go and go into Smartsheet. We're gonna click on the plus symbol here. And then we're gonna go click right here where it says import. And then we're gonna move over here to Google Sheets. And when you click into here, the initial time, it's gonna ask you to log into your Google account, like if you have a Google Drive and Gmail, and it's automatically gonna pull up any prior Google Sheets that you have. So here's our sample budget. Click select. And this screen right here is very important. You do not want to skip this screen. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to give it a different name? Um, for here, I do not. I want to leave it the way that it is. And then right here for column headers, this is what I was talking about. This is where it's going to show you where you can click on it to choose what you want your header name to be because it knows that Google Sheets just like Excel does not have header names and so I'm going to click here because this is what I want the name of my columns to be and you can choose wherever you want but I'm going to click here and then right here you if you have the option if you want you can choose a primary column you don't have to worry about that um, you can just leave it as column one if you want and then last but not least I want this box to be checked. I want my formulas to carry over. And I've noticed that with formulas, if they're really complex formulas or formulas are pulling data from different tabs within the Google Sheets, the formula won't carry over. But if it's just basic formulas within the sheet, for the most part, the formulas will automatically carry over. All right, let's go ahead and click import. And as you can see here, pulled in all the data. And let's open this up a little bit so we can see our information. And as you can see here, the fonts carried over just fine, the tile size, the colors, and uh, the row colors did not, um, just in certain, certain columns, so that's interesting. Let's double click in here and see if the formulas, yeah, look at that, the formulas carried over. So that's very helpful. And then again, this was just raw data. And now we can manipulate the sheet however we'd like. And that is how you import a Google Sheet into Smartsheet. All right, you guys, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel. And most of all, click on that free lesson that I've created for you guys. It's in the bio below. All right, you guys, take care and God bless.